start with a bit of the season so far and really good. Um, really good. Are you doing that? Yeah, it's going. So, how do you think the season's gone so far? Um, well, with a couple of results that we haven't been that happy with in terms of drawing two games, and I felt we were in control of winning. Um, but on the whole, it was about, I guess, building this team back together with a lot of changes, so it has taken a lot of time. But, um, having Sione and James back from the World Cup, you know, the squad starting to settle down there, and a couple of guys are coming back from injury. So, it's becoming a little bit easier for us to, to sort of do the small things well. So, you know, we saw that against Doncaster. We, we, we did some, some be things better than we've done previously and um, managed to play for eight minutes. So, it's, it's not, you would never, you'd always say games are important, but, you know, the way this league is structured, you have to have the, the, the side really firing at the back end of the year. So, that's still an objective. Cool. How many new players roughly did you bring in over the summer? Crumbs are well, 11, 12. There's a lot. You know, there's a lot of guys, but there's also um, some guys who hadn't been with us for a couple of years who, who might seem familiar faces, but in fact, you know, they're new players to, to, to the current system. So you know, there's a lot of change, um, but it was needed. I think we felt you know, we needed to move in a different direction. And, um, you know, this is a really good group of guys to work with, so um, yeah, we're really pleased with that. How do you think the combinations are coming together? <laughs> Nicely, actually. I think um, the midfield combination is working well. Uh, you must have seen how we're working with them. Gelling nicely. Um, the, the set face stuff up front's been very good. The scrum work's been excellent. Neil's been uh, doing a lot of good work there for us uh, on the coaching side. So, you know, there's, there's lots of good parts of, of our processes are, are working well. The combinations are, uh, are, are coming together nicely. Um, the 9 and 10 combination is a, is a very new one, so uh, yeah, that's, that's still evolving. But I think um, on, on balance, I think the, the squad has a, has, a more, it has a more balanced sort of evenness to it. And um, I think we've got good options in different areas. Right. Having played against lots of other teams considered contenders this season. Where do you think you sit in terms of your progress and where you'd like to be in the season? Well, I think we're close to them at the moment, but close without having overcome them. And if you think you know, we lost the last kick of the game to, to Bedford and to Bristol, um, you know, it's about turning those fine margins into winning margins. So, yeah, we're close, but we're not, uh, not suggesting that we're, we're close enough to stop working. So, it's going to take a lot more. Those sides are, are pretty established and evolved and have come together well and are performing well. So, um, we've, we've got to keep working really, really hard to. To make sure we catch them up properly. And in terms of your philosophy on what you want, how you want the team to play, is it more of an expansive game you're looking for? Is it more of a winning style, or preferably both? I suppose. Well, I think you take winning at any cost. Um, the, the way we like to play is we play. We have a, a lovely big wide surface to play at Meadow Lane and you know, we want to move that football around and, um, and, and use it well and um, try and come up with, with good decisions to, to make on attack that are exposed defenders. So, you know, the, the philosophy won't change, but, you know, in this league you have to have good set votes. So, good strong line out and, and, and scrum detail is, is very important. Um, but, you know, the, the way we've got it with the outside backs we have, we want to get those guys in the game as often as possible. And the BNI Cup has been very successful so far this year. Um, what are your thoughts on the young talent coming through? Oh, they've been outstanding. Uh, Finley's led them incredibly well. They're two from two, having I mean, beaten Donny at home and Rotherham away. So I think um, you know the Rotherham result away is, is probably one of the results of the season so far. And um, you know those guys have really posed some good challenges, and there are guys pushing from from that group into the, into the main squad, which is what it's all about. So um, long may it continue, but I think it's a massive pat on the back to, to John Woodison and the work he's done with our academy. Um, there's eight guys from our academy who started in those games, which you know, is fantastic for, for me, and it just shows that there's good talent out there that can push through and, and play well for us. And there's been rumours about you getting extra support from the board to help you strengthen the squad. Is there anything you can give us as an insider that you might be looking at or areas you're looking to strengthen maybe? Yeah, I think we've, we've, we've sort of taken a step back. You know, the, it's, it's not something that we want to rush into or I need to rush into because I know we've got a, a very good group of players here. But you know, there's certainly things off the field that we're enhancing at the moment in the medical program. Um, the, you know, the administrative function that supports the team, that, that's always needed uh, improvement. But, Look, you know, if, um, if there's, there's an opportunity to win some guys, then I think it'll make a big difference if we do that. Um, you know, we're certainly talking to a, a few people at the moment, and we'll see where that goes. But um, yeah, not, not to take anything away. We've got a good group here that might just need a bit more depth when um, when the playoffs come. Great. And so, what were your thoughts on the World Cup then? Obviously, proud as a Kiwi, and I'm just, yeah, happy to win. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's as much as it uh, as can be said. It wasn't a great game, but I think New Zealand played well. Enough. That well in the final, I think the French were the better side. But um, look, you know, from, from watching the game objectively and being a, a Kiwi, it's like, we'll take the win, thanks very much. It's done. And uh, I guess um, they'll move on, and, and hopefully that sort of, you know, I guess, monkey of World Cups is now gone, and they can just focus for the next four years on. Perhaps doing it again and, and be competitive in, um, in England and things like that. Right, cut that one, that's